today. <laughs> I'm really excited. We're gonna go to a really special place. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Hi, I'm Andre Sigaboni from Gallery Sigaboni. And again, not in my gallery, but most importantly, guest in one of the most renowned hotels in Central Europe, Hotel Imperial. I mean, this is really Hotel Imperial. Well, we brought some glass art over here. This is an amazing palais built in 1862 by the Duke of Württemberg, uh, for him and his wife. And, um, it was built by a very famous, uh, constructed by Adam, uh, Austrian constructor, and the architect was Zanetti from Munich in Germany. And it was built in this neo-Renaissance style. So you, when you, in, it's just amazing. You feel this traditional, it's a, it's a cultural treasure. It really is. Um, in 1872, there was a world exhibition. That time, one of the big events here in Central Europe, and Vienna really did a lot, and they transformed this into a hotel. And this is just amazing. The people who resided here are just phenomenal. We had like, there's a piano over here. We're sitting in the bar lounge area. It is really amazing. And you know what the cool thing is? Actually, when they readapted the, the hotel in the 20th century, they did a marvelous job of taking traditional styles of cultural treasure and putting it into 21st century. So you feel the history, but you feel comfortable in the 21st century. Anyway, here in the lounge, you know, Billy Joel played music. He came back from a concert and the bartender, and he had a drink here in the bar, and the bartender said, oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't go to the concert. And he says, oh, really? And he got all the people together, sat down on the piano, and, uh, and, and played some music for them. Prince did the same thing. Anyway, I have to mention, uh, Her Majesty, the Queen of England, resided here too. And uh, it's just, I have a list of people who are residing here and phenomenal stories. And this is the place to be. The contrast is wonderful. So we decided to bring Oliver Lesser here. In contrast, it's a little bit modern, but with his mirroring uh, surfaces he built inside this optical glass, it reflects the marvelous facades you have in the on the walls here. And um, so we took this opportunity to sit in the lounge and we'll be showing some other pieces a little bit later on, uh, we'll introduce something. There is a very famous imperial cake. And um, that was produced by a young cook who worked in here uh, um, in the 19th century. And he developed this awesome chocolate cake with, and it's a secret, uh, the recipe is an absolute secret, with mar but there's mar uh, marzipan inside, uh, there's chocolate glazing and so on. And you know what? We got three pieces. and. For the three best next comments that come up, we're gonna send them out for free. So it's out for you for grabs. Put an interesting comment on the YouTube below and you can be the winner of one of the most amazing cakes here from Vienna. We took along Oliver Lesso, a nice contrast to these satisfying aesthetics around us. Uh, and the nice thing with culture and tradition it makes you feel fundamental and comfortable, and that's the surrounding you want. But art is a nice contrast sometimes inside there. And he stands out even though he blends in. Oliver Lesso, young artist from Slovakia, most of his works is optical glass art, most of the pieces I have. And this is a really phenomenal, interesting piece because you got the whole surrounding f reflected in here. And he's mirrored these slight angled pieces in here and the whole surfaces are mirroring too. So once you walk around, it has a slight reflection of everything in the room. But it's mystifying, it's a mystifying piece because 
actually you're not too sure where it starts and where it stops because at one point you get the reflection it continues and continues and continues and you know what that's what tradition is about it's a perpetuum of something that continues All right, here we are with Giuliana Geiger, um, right in front of the piano. You know, we had Pavarotti sang here for the guests of the people. Before you get into this hotel, before you go through the revolving doors of this cultural treasure, there are statues by Melnitsky, and they represent honor, justice, and strength. And this is a fantastic thing that what else in one symbolic representation can communicate so much? And here we brought Juliana Geiger with his absolute new series called In Between Spaces. This is a nice representation, fantastic color, absolutely amber, honey color. It actually looks like whiskey, cognac. I should be having a drink, but it's way too early in the day to do that, but to enjoy this piece, to sit down, have a little drink, and enjoy this piece. Um, he does a wonderful job of creating um, spaces in between. So, you know, it's like music. You have a musical instrument, and you have the receptor listening to the music, and there's a space in between, and the space in between is needed to carry all this information, this melody, and this wonderful uplifting feeling and this is exactly what he does in a strange way you kind of look in between he gives a whole structure space so you get the depth of the, the sculpture and the phenomenal color uh, I just love all of them but this space in between is exactly that that carries you um, in out through the surroundings where you put the piece. Um, I have uh, most of the pieces from Juliana Geiger the in between spaces check out my homepage. Now we're in the Duke suite, amazing rooms, culture, history, the emblem of the Duke of Württemberg, the lion, the deer, everything here is here. And who else better to bring than the queen of glass art, Zora Palova. Wonderful contrast, a lot of structure in this very ornamented room with a lot of uh, Renaissance, Baroque, Peter Meyer type of Victorian style in here. And in contrast, a wonderful piece by Zora Palova that just stands out magnificently. And her structure, the matness, is almost silvery in color in contrast to this wonderful golden environment in here. Uh, I want to have a big shout out to the people who supported me to be able to be a guest here in Hotel uh, Imperial, Magister Stopper. I want to say thank you very much. The concierge, all the people were extremely helpful. Thanks a lot. Highly professional, fantastic people, and everyone with a smile on their face. I really, li I, I really appreciate that. Anyway, Zora Palova here in the Golden Room, a platinum piece by Zora Palava. I hope you enjoy this series now here in the Hotel Imperial, and there's more to come. Enjoy and like. Thank you. Mm -hmm.